Jane Doritic was originally found guilty of the murder of 55 year old Robert Doritic in Valley Center. She was serving 25 years to life when her sentence was overturned last summer due to newly discovered evidence. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on what happened today in court and why Doritic is being tried again. Shannon. Marcella, today in court we heard from experts, including a sheriff's deputy who first investigated this case more than 20 years ago. Now, despite Doritic's conviction being overturned due to new DNA evidence, the DA's office is pursuing a murder charge yet again, hoping to prove she's guilty. I think I've spent 20 years hiding from all of it. And now that it's over, now that I finally am vindicated, it's a huge relief. That was Jane Dortick speaking out last summer after a judge overturned the murder conviction that sent her to prison back in 2001. Today, the 73-year-old was back in court attending a preliminary hearing for a new trial in the case. I asked Ms. Dortick if she and her husband had any marital problems, and she said not in the past two years. The first person to take the stand, James Blackman, a San Diego County Sheriff's deputy who interviewed Dortick after she reported her husband had gone missing while out on a jog in February 2000. The following day, Robert Dortick's body was found beaten and strangled on the side of a Valley Center Road near the couple's home. At the time, prosecutors alleged Jane Dortick killed her husband inside their bedroom and then dumped his body to avoid losing money in the event of a divorce. Evidence presented during the initial trial included blood samples, but Dortick's attorneys say that blood was never tested and that newly conducted DNA testing of the victim's clothing, fingernails, and a rope alleged to be one of the murder weapons show no evidence of her DNA, excluding Dortick from the crime scene. The defense believes a convicted felon who lived in Valley Center may be to blame. Meanwhile, in court today, pictures were shown of the area where Doritic's body was found. Deputy Blackman recalled finding Doritic, saying he noticed what appeared to be tire tracks in the area as well. I saw Mr. Doritic lying on his back. I saw trauma to his head and a black cord around his neck and his feet were together. It appeared to me that he was placed there. The preliminary hearing will continue tomorrow. Witnesses, including neighbors, are expected to testify. It could last up to two weeks, at which point a judge will decide if there's enough evidence to go to trial.